During the Clone Wars, Captain Rex's helmet slowly accumulates more and more tally marks on his modified Phase 2 clone helmet, making it very clear that he is a veteran of the war. But what do the tally markings on Rex's helmet mean? Were they droid kill marks, memories of his fallen brothers, or something completely different? I'm going to break down some incredible theories about what these marks on Rex's helmet could mean. Before we get into it, remember to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the video, because at the moment only 31% of you who are watching have hit the red button. And if you guys are interested, I just dropped my first special edition Sith Holocron merch for you guys. So if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description and pinned comment down below. Discount code ORDER66. As the Clone Wars dragged on, Rex's armor began to become more worn and the tally markings on his helmet and plate legs began to increase. There are a few theories on what exactly these tallies could mean, including some very heartbreaking ones. I'll go through each theory and determine which one is the most likely based on what we know so far. The first and most widespread theory is that the tally markings on Rex's helmet represent the amount of total droids that he has killed during the war. Right away we know that this is false for a few reasons. The first is that there are simply not enough markings on his armor to represent battle droid kills. Rex has killed thousands or probably even tens of thousands of droids during his time in the war. He even kills hundreds in one battle, so there would simply not be enough room to track this number. The other reason which solidly confirms that this is not a total droid kill count is Rex Rex's statement on Agamar in Star Wars Rebels, where he says he never kept count like some of the boys. We called them clankers. Clankers? <laughs> I like that. How many of these things do you think you blasted? I don't know. Thousands. Probably tens of thousands. Never kept count like some of the boys. Make sure you let me know down below what you think the markings on Rex's helmet mean to see if your theory matches up. Moving straight on to the next theory, it's very possible that these markings represent Captain Rex's fallen brothers during the war. He may have made a marking on his helmet and armor for every clone brother that was close to him who died during the events of the war. At the beginning of the Clone Wars, Rex only had very few markings on his armor, so as the war went on and he lost more and more close friends, the markings would have slowly increased. Rex is definitely definitely the type of leader to take responsibility for any loss of life under his command, so whenever he loses a man during battle, he may put a marking on his armor to forever remember their sacrifice. Following that, the markings could indicate successful battles won in the Clone Wars. This one would also make a lot of sense, as Rex would want to honor each of the successful battles that he led with his general Anakin Skywalker and honor his very important victories for the Republic. The only point against this theory is that the amount of battles that Rex fought in was probably not enough to cover the many markings on his armor, and that's not even including the ones that the Republic actually won. While this is my personal favorite theory, I don't think it's very likely considering the huge tally. After that, there is another amazing theory that says Rex's tally marks represent the amount of times that his clone armor or helmet saved him during combat. This would again make a lot of sense, as we've seen just how effective clone armor can be, especially compared to Stormtrooper armor. Rex would probably inscribe his armor every time it saved his life so that he could remember just how lucky he was to still be walking. Following that is the final and most likely theory behind the true meaning of Captain Rex's helmet markings. The theory states that they represent kills on Separatist battle droids that are meaningful or impactful. This would primarily count kills on droids like the B2 battle droid, the Magna Tri droid, the Magna Guard droids, or even the Separatist commando droids. These kills would be relatively rare for Captain Rex to obtain and would be very very meaningful to the battles that he is fighting in. The rare nature of these kills on top of the extreme significance of them make this theory the most likely to be correct. To further back this up, Dave Filoni also confirmed that the markings did represent kills of some kind, although he didn't specify what type. He stated, he's like this veteran now, he's got little kill marks all over his armor. I think Rex is becoming something of a little legend. Dave Filoni's statement combined with Rex telling Ezra that he didn't keep count of B1 battle droid kills makes this theory the most likely and most simple to track. But make sure you let me know which theory you think is the most likely and the one that you believe is correct. Thanks so much for watching, remember to subscribe for more awesome Star Wars lore content. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.